In this session, we are going to learn about square numbers. If a number is multiplied by itself, the product so obtained is called the square of that number. Let us take an example. If three is multiplied by three is multiplied by three. That equals to nine, and it is represented as three square. We say that nine is the square of three. Let us take another example. Sixteen. 16 multiplied by 16 we get 256 and it is all represented as 16 square we say that 256 is the square of 16 let us consider another example 4 by 5 it is multiplied by 4 upon 5 we will get 16 by 25 we can say that 16 by 25 is a square of 4 by 5. A perfect square is a number that is a square of some natural number. First, well, let us take 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. These are the square of 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, and 6 square respectively. These are two. 3, 4, 5, and 6 or belongs to natural numbers. So 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 are called perfect squares. Let us discuss some properties of square numbers. A square number never ends with 2, 3, 7, or 8. Let us take 25, which is a square of 5 square, 5. 36, 49, 81, and so on. The unit digit is 5 here, 6, 9, 1. It is clearly stating that 2, 3, 7, 8 are never be a unit place of a perfect square. Let us talk about second property. The number of zeros at the end of a square number is always even. Let us take 10 square that equals to 10 100. The units are the number of zeros equals to 2 here. It's an even. Let us take 100. 100 square equals to 10,000. The number of zeros here equals to 4. 4 is an even number and so on. Like that, the number of zeros at the end of a perfect square is always even. Third property is square of even numbers are always even numbers and square of odd numbers are always odd numbers. 3 square that equals to 9. 9 is an odd number. 4 square that equals to 16. 16 is an even number because it is divisible by 2. Will the, the 5 square. 5 square is equals to 25. It's an it's clearly it's a an odd number. 6 square 36. It's clearly 36 is clearly an even number. Fourth property is the square of a natural number other than 1 is either a multiple of 3 or exceeds a multiple of 3 by 1. Let us take an example 2 square that equals to 4. Can we, we can write in 4 as 3 plus 1. 4 square that equals to 16. We can write 16 as 5 multiplied by 3 plus 1. Let us take another example 9 square that equals to 81. 81 can be written as 3 multiplied by 27. The remainder is 0. Here the remainder is 1. And here the remainder is 1. Here the remainder is 0. So, from this test, we can conclude that if a number when divided by 3 leaves a remainder 2, then it is not a perfect square. Perfect square leaves a remainder of 0 or 1 on division by 4. Let us take an example of uh, 25. 
that equals the square of 5 square. 25 can be written as 4 multiplied by 6 plus 1. The remainder is 1. Let us take an exact example of 6 square. That equals to 36. We can write 36 as 4 multiplied by 9. The remainder is 0. So, a perfect square leaves a remainder 0 or 1 on division by 4. From this, we can say that if a number when divided by 4 leaves a remainder 2 or 3, then it is not a perfect square.